This is jarring. A doctored video that attempts to make it look like Nancy Pelosi is slurring her speech. Crudely edited videos, doctored. It's it's incredible. They're doctoring videos. Doctored. And the president is sending around doctored videos. That doctored video. Peddling a doctored video. Tweeted out a doctored video, completely manufactured, falsely a doctor, 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 doctored video. video. There is something so familiar about this. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. I'm super busy with real life right now, so I haven't been able to finish the video I'm working on about the media and the cover that they've been providing for Joe Biden up to this point. But in the meantime, I wanted to share a re-edit of a very relevant video I did five years ago about how CNN and MSNBC were trying to claim that a video going around that Trump had shared showing Pelosi's apparent cognitive decline, or maybe she was just drunk, was doctored, much like we see them doing right now with Joe Biden. Check this out and see how the Democrat Party state media is the same as they've ever been. Oh, the media are so damn predictable. But don't worry, the media is filled with objective defenders of democracy who don't have a partisan bone in their body. So in case you haven't been following this story, let me get you up to speed. What happened here is that Trump tweeted out a 100% legitimate compilation video of Pelosi stammering and sounding like an idiot. On the other hand, Rudy Giuliani did tweet out a video of Pelosi that was slowed down to make it sound like her speech was slurred. There were no professional tactics involved here. They literally just slow down the video slightly. Can you just explain how these videos even work? How it's possible to make these? Since then, the media has been losing their minds and they've been trying to conflate the two tweets, suggesting that Trump is the one who tweeted out a quote doctored video. This is what Trump tweeted out. Uh, long took no longer on the floor. Custody, custody of the border, of the border. Everyone, they started making, sending signals. Oh, working together to, to uh, make pass that not to, uh, if we where where the fat we, there's three things there's three things there's three things there's three things this video was not doctored in any way it is not the same video that Rudy Giuliani tweeted out. That doesn't matter to any of these hypocrites. And while they pretend to be morally outraged, they themselves are lying and deceiving their audience. They clearly want people to think the video that Trump tweeted out was doctored. They just see this as yet another opportunity to try and silence their opposition once and for all. There's a way to win a campaign without doing that. It's one thing for a foreign government to be, you know, injecting themselves in our elections, but it's another thing to see it espoused by the president. <laughs> Keep it together. Just keep it together. Just keep it together. I'm, I'm not going to explode this time. The bigger concern, you know, that Lisa and Michael were talking about is, is people who don't know that it's not real. People who don't know the difference and who believe that these are accurate depictions of politicians. <laughs> Where the hell does this hat get off pretending like this is so out of the norm when his network reported and tweeted out doctored video of Trump on at least two different occasions? CNN and its reporters took video of Trump calling MS-13 gang members animals and deceptively edited out the portion where he was asked about MS-13 so that they could then nefariously claim that he was talking about immigrants. Not only did this happen already once back in 2018, but then they tried peddling the same lie again in 2018. 2019, recently, just a few months ago. We have people coming into the country or trying to come in. We're stopping a lot of them. But we're taking people out of the country. You wouldn't believe how bad these people are. These aren't people. These are animals. To be an MS-13 gang member, I know about. If they don't reach a certain threshold, I cannot tell ICE about them. Yeah. We have people coming into the country or trying to come in. We're stopping a lot of them. <laughs> But we're taking people out of the country. You wouldn't believe how bad these people are. These aren't people. These are animals. Damn. And they did the exact same thing with footage of Trump's press conference after what happened at Charlottesville. How could these people be so deluded and so unaware? The answer is they're not. They're literally just repeating the talking points that were put out by Nancy Pelosi's office. They're doing their jobs as a Democrat PR firm. This is jarring. A doctored video that attempts to make it look like Nancy Pelosi is slurring her speech. Crudely edited videos, doctored. It's, it's incredible. They're doctoring videos. Doctored. And the president is sending around 
doctored videos. That doctored video. Peddling a doctored video. Tweeted out a doctored video. Completely manufactured falsely. A doctor, 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 doctored video. video. Seem familiar? From Pelosi's office to the media propaganda machine. Every single one of these networks is lying about the video Trump tweeted out and are trying to conflate it with what Giuliani tweeted out. Every single one of these networks is saying the exact same thing word for word. And every single one of these networks spread the lie that Trump called illegal immigrants animals using doctored video. That's completely different. I don't recall any of this hand-wringing or outrage when NBC got caught editing 911 audio tape of George Zimmerman to make him sound racist and to incite racial tensions. Curiously, they weren't outraged at themselves when they got busted trying to incite racial tensions by editing video of a black man with an AR-15 at a town hall event. They cropped the video so you couldn't tell he was a black man and then claimed that it was an angry white man who was upset by a black man being in the White House. This leads me to MSNBC, where on Tuesday, Contessa Brewer filed a report about health care protesters showing up armed. In it, she used tape of that same black guy with the rifle and said this. And the reason we're talking about this, a lot of talk here, Dylan, because people feel like, yes, there are Second Amendment rights for sure, but also there are questions about whether this has a racial overtones. I mean, here you have a man of color in the presidency and white people showing up with guns strapped right. to their waist. But like I said, the guy was black, but you never would have known because MSNBC had strategically edited the tape. So the race of the armed dude wasn't revealed. That is so messed up. There's no doubt about it. Our media is as corrupt and vile as anything George Orwell warned us about. All right, folks, that's all I have for that. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. And if you're still here, hit that like and subscribe. I post on a regular basis, so keep checking back for more. Thanks a lot.